all of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Jess. This is my friend Zara. I'm Zara. <laughs> She's from Iran. She's really excited to be here. So excited. <laughs> um, so we had some questions about mechanical engineering. I did mechanical engineering at McGill in Canada. And, and I did my bachelor's in Prague at Chivute, Czech Technical University in Prague. Yeah. Yeah. So, and now we're both doing our master's at ETH Zurich. Yeah. So, we have some questions here submitted by Charlotte Doyle. I hope that's how you say your last name. Yeah. Um, so, her first question is, um, what are the hardest classes in mechanical engineering? <laughs> Should I list the hardest classes Oh, here. <laughs> or are there a lot? <laughs> or in alphabetical order. Do it as you wish. <laughs> I think vibes. Vibes is hard. Um, turbulent flows. <laughs> that was hard. Okay. Aircraft control. Uh, Turbo control. Contro everything about control basically is hard. Machine elements. It's it's about design and. Uh, what else? My electronics course wasn't, yeah, that, wasn't yeah. hard. Um, uh, no, that was hard. That was definitely hard. <laughs> that wasn't hard. I, I would say Sit. mechanics too, like mechanics second, the kinematics. It's about control. Yeah, that one was really hard. Actually, yeah. now I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, thermo, <laughs> thermo. Why haven't we talked about thermo? Thermo two and thermo oh. one and fluids one and fluids fluids two wasn't she just as hard. Say that everything is <laughs> don't study engineering. <laughs> no, no. Thermo one was hard. Fluids one was hard. Thermo two and fluids two were not as hard. I think it's because it's like your first time seeing seeing the second law, and you're like, I don't actually remember. Of all honesty, I'm saying there's no difficult thing. It's just about like time management. You have to manage your time so that you would be able to pass all the exams like with good good grades or whatever but it's all about time like and hard working being hard worker and like just about really it's just about being too much material okay so yeah was it hard to keep a good gpa in your bachelor's i say uh, no, for, for me not yeah i say for me like i just took it one midterm at a time and i was able to do it okay yeah like one step at a time and you're able to do it. What do you, how many hours per week do you study? <laughs> okay, she studies like none at all. In my bachelor's, I had no life. I can honestly tell you, I woke up at like right before class, went to class all day, did work between class, went home, studied nonstop all the way till midnight took one hour break to eat and watch TV, like one hour, and then, yeah, finished studying what at midnight. What a life. <laughs> How was it for you? But Your bachelor's is just a blur. A day? Like, uh, <laughs> how many hours a day? Uh, yeah. Uh, if I distribute all my studying, it would be maybe uh, two hours a day. Oh my goodness, two hours a or day? Yes, yeah. <gasps> What? You're insane. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. You because how hard was the last year of school? I know her answer. Oh, I don't even remember my last year of school. <laughs> no, say say your answer. <laughs> um, my last sem like my second last semester was like the hardest part of my life. I was uh, studying for the GREs, uh, applying to school, so also doing research about the professors at the schools, emailing all the professors. I had like hard classes like turbo machinery mm -hmm. and all of these really hard classes, and I was doing my bachelor's thesis, and it was experimental work. But you should say. <laughs> that your bachelor's was different i mean it wasn't a normal bachelor's she did bachelor's for five fucking years you know yeah so well i also did mechanical and aeronautical and then yeah. i did honors which means that she did a lot of research so i did research yeah how about you how was your last year last year definitely harder than the other years but machine elements and mechanisms yeah and it's a hard course we had it in the last semester together with the master like bachelor's thesis yeah that made it hard like i, I was really working hard you know? the only time in your life never again <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> <the age. laughs> what do you think about 
internships. Okay, so we had to change locations because we got kicked out <laughs> of the garden. It closes at six. Everything yeah. closes at six in Switzerland. But I was saying that um, internships, I think in North America, if you have your summer free, then it's important to get some sort of experience to at least set yourself apart because everyone has good grades now. Yeah, like, yeah that's true, that's like, true. Everyone has good grades, so I would say if you could do research in the summer, some sort of research position in a lab, or do an internship, then that's already really good. As Jess said, like everyone has good grades nowadays, I think so. Yeah. So uh, internship or even research place is what Why makes you, you distinct. <laughs> and also, again, if you do research instead of an internship, then you have relations with the prof. So if you apply to grad school, then you yeah. have a letter of recommendation that actually has some weight to yeah, it. Yeah, that's so good. I, I did some sort of as, like this stuff in my previous university in Prague was about um, like thermophysical properties of fluids. And I did it with my prof who had some relations with CERN. It was actually the scientist in CERN. So that was so useful in my CV. Um, I hope this was helpful. I think we named all the hardest classes in mechanical engineering, so... Uh, no, that was okay. So, I, if you have any more questions about final projects or internships, um... Please subscribe below. You can ask them below. <laughs> ask subscribe, them below. And like, like them this below. video. And message... Like them below. <laughs> okay, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Sorry. Love you guys! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs>